I want to talk about how to get the par uh, parametric equations for a line segment. Now let's start with a line segment that goes from point A, x1, y1, to point B, x2, y2. Now we're going to use a vector method to come up with these parametric equations. First of all, let's notice that AP and AB are both vectors that are parallel. So AP equals T times AB, some scalar t times AB. And you know that because AP is smaller than AB, that this is going to be some kind of compression. That means that t is going to be between 0 and 1, as long as point P is between these two guys. Now let's take a look at the components for AP and AB. I've named point P x and y. I'm going to use this point to derive my equation. My equation has to have x and y. Let's say that these are numbers that I know, these coordinates here and here. AP has components x minus x1 and y minus y1. And AB has components x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. So I have a scalar multiplication here. I'm going to multiply the t through and I get t x2 minus t x1, t y2 minus t y1. And that equals x minus x1, y minus y1. Now, to go from a vector equation to parametric equations, all I have to do is separate these by components. So x minus x1 equals t x2 minus t x1. t x2 minus t x1. Let me add the x1 to both sides, and I get x equals, and I'm going to pull this guy in front, x1 minus t x1, and then plus t x2. And that gives me x equals, notice that I have a common factor of x1. I can pull out the 1 minus t, and I'm left with x1. 1 minus t times x1 plus t times x2. Now, because t is between 0 and 1, this is like a weighted average of x1 and x2. Now, the same thing's going to happen for y. y minus y1 equals ty sub 2 minus ty sub 1. ty sub 2 minus ty sub 1. Again, I'll move the y1 term in front, and I'll add y1 to both sides. I'll get y1 minus ty1 plus ty2. So this is, after I factor the y1 out, I get 1 minus t y1 plus t y2 equals y. So these are my two equations right here. And then putting them together, x equals 1 minus t x1 plus t x2. y equals 1 minus t y1 plus t y2. And these equations work for t, again, between 0 and 1. So all you need to come up with the parametric equations for a line segment are the coordinates of the two endpoints, x1, y1, and x2, y2. And you can always use this parameterization to get you that line segment.